Okay, what we're looking at here is a jar full of royal purple oil. And inside there is a steering column universal joint. You'll get a better look of it once I, once I pull it out of there. But the reason I have it in this jar is because I had it soaking in this glass. And I was trying to get it to take some oil. Because it's an exposed universal joint for a steering shaft on a rack and pinion for this vehicle here. Basically it connects right here onto the rack and pinion. And it has some dust seals on it and some O-rings that cover up the bearings. The bearings are a little notchy. And after setting it in this jar for a few hours, it just doesn't feel like it's taking on oil. I even heated the oil up a little bit. So what I'm gonna try and do here is hook this vacuum pump into it. And basically what the idea is, is I'm gonna put a 25 inch of mercury vacuum on this thing for about a half hour to get a good vacuum on it. And then I'm gonna release the vacuum. And what that should do is cause atmospheric pressure to press oil into the sealed bearings. And this idea may work on any number of sealed bearings that you're attempting to re-lubricate. So if you have a sealed bearing that just won't take oil or you would like to lubricate a sealed bearing with something other than grease just for the sake of saving its soul, this method should work. We should see some bubbles come out of there and once we release the vacuum, that's when I'm thinking the oil will go in, not as we're pumping out. When the vacuum is released, 14 PSI should press down on this and smash oil into the universal joint, the bearings. Can't really get a good look at that. See that little nodule there? There's dust covers and O-rings sealing off these bearings. They just don't feel like they're taking the oil. I'm using the synthetic royal purple because this is probably the best oil you can get your hands on. It's kind of like Duralube. I don't know if you remember Duralube from the 1980s. It's a uh, super synthetic that even once it it's almost washed off, it still lubricates better than regular oil. So that's why I chose this as the oil. So let me get this hooked up and we'll see what happens. It's been about 15 minutes. There's one little spot there that's getting a lot of activity still. You see that big bubble just pop? I think that's right where one of my joints are at. So it's still pulling air. Now bear in mind when bubbles are in vacuums like this, they're probably 10 to 20 times the size of atmospheric bubbles or the, the amount of space you would see. Yeah, I think I got a bearing right there. So even though we see a lot of bubbles, when they were shrunk down to atmospheric size, they really don't represent a whole lot of oil. What I mean by that is the amount of air that's removed at atmospheric pressure volume will be the amount of oil that will be pressed into the joints when the vacuum is released. got to remember to flick your gauges too. Sometimes these gauges stick and if you want to get an accurate reading, just give them a little flick. One of those 1960s scientists taught me that. Sure enough, sometimes when you do it, you'll get another two degrees or two notches out of the gauge. So we're at 24 inches of mercury there, which is a fairly decent vacuum for a free pump. You can go buy a $20 pump at Harbor Freight and it gives you 28 inches. Okay, this is the second dip. A lot of air coming out of it this time. I can tell that's where it's come from because you can see like the rust coming out. Look at that. That's rust and gunk coming out of the bushing joint, which is a great sign. That's what we want to see. Yeah, there's all kinds of garbage you're getting sucked out of that bushing. Very happy to see that. That's basically rust for the most part. So I'm going to let this sit here for a while. Be sure it gets all the air pulled out. 
And that one spot is just burping all kinds of funk out of it. Can't really get this jar cleaned off. It's the inside that's dirty. Yeah, look at that gunk. It's been pulled out. That's a beautiful sight. So hopefully this thing works a lot better when we're done here. It, it, the first treatment did good. It seems like the second doing the second treatment allowed dirty oil to be pulled out of the unit. So doing two treatments was probably a good idea because the first time we didn't see this disgusting ooze coming out of the bushings. Maybe I'll do a third treatment. I mean, that was so effective at pulling grime out of there. Probably wouldn't hurt. Okay, so here's the universal joint. It still feels a little notchy, but there was a significant improvement. Just soaking it in the oil wasn't doing anything. The vacuum process definitely pulled some oil into the joints. It's a lot easier to move than it was now. It still has like some, some notchiness to it, like I'm rolling on a bad bearing or something. But to replace this part, you're looking at $200. So I'm gonna risk it. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it over. I'm gonna um, take some mass airflow sensor cleaner and clean out those threads. And I'm gonna put some Loctite on that bolt because my life is in the hands of this component. And I, after spending 400 some dollars on this piece here, I just really ain't trying to put thousands of dollars into this car, I just bought it. But anyone who has any bearings or anything that needs oil forced into it, this is a huge improvement. So the vacuum process definitely worked. I'm glad that I took the time to set this up Unfortunately, I did damage my lid, so I can't use this anymore. I'll have to get another lid and connect another connector to it, but yeah, man, it was worth it. I definitely recommend this technique. If you have come across any sealed bearings that are just kind of seizing up, the grease is bad. You might even be able to pull some solvent in there first and do a flush and then heat them up and boil the solvent out of there maybe get it to ooze out some of the gunk and then replace the uh, oil you could pull grease into a bearing by getting the grease hot and doing that process but uh yeah man i'm happy i did this it's uh definitely a video worth posting because there is a much better feel to it now that some oil has been forced into those o-rings and those dust seals